here we go ciao here we go indeed thank you Fabrizio Romano for that lovely introduction Episode 1 of the FIFA Next Up Road to Glory series. I know a lot of the players that I coach have been wanting this series for a while, either in Ultimate Team or in Career Mode, and I'm bringing you Episode 1 today with weekly episodes coming out too. But here I am making sure my player is looking fresh, with the fresh haircut, with the fresh clothes. Uh, but first and foremost... What are those? What are those indeed? But you know what? I started to roll with them. I started to like them after a while. Uh, here I am just putting in all the details surrounding the club, obviously next up going to be the name and we are going to take you on this journey all the way starting in League 2 and working our way up to the Premier League, hopefully winning the Champions League as well on legendary difficulty. I know I set myself that challenge, it's probably going to be impossible but let's give it a go. Here I am just also choosing the kits, wanted to make the kits as authentic as possible, you know the purple home kit, the gold or the bright yellow away kit. to end it in the stadium, purple stands, purple seats, wanted to make it an absolute next up experience. Uh, I believe we ended up calling the stadium the lab too, so where you can come in and develop. So very light light to what we like to do in real life. Half a star team, very young, transfer budget, minimal, and also we're gonna work as a small club. A quick glimpse of the players, but let's get into the big business. That's right, Coach Danny has arrived as the head coach here and instantly we get a transfer offer for one of our players, Dodds. I had to quickly reject that. I didn't want any player leaving as soon as possible. Um, and I was just looking through my youth team, recognised we had a goalkeeper in there, which is always great. But also just wanted to see what the board wanted of me as going as acting manager of Next Up Coaching going forwards. Uh, telling a player here we had lots of work to do. Getting straight into editing the team, I wanted the team to be in attacking formation. I can already see a couple of names in there I'm looking to rely on. Greaves, the striker, is going to be a great player for me, I'm sure. Guest, the centre-back. Look, when there's a striker on the pitch, no one's on the guest list. That's going to be his main motto, and that's the team right there. But another offer came in from Stevenage, and you know what? You know what? Stevenage, similar league to us, I'm just going to waste this manager's time. Going to bring him in for a negotiation, end it immediately. See you later, mate. Not interested. Pack your bags, and let's get straight into our first game. Absolutely, we we're going to find out what sort of impact I had. You know what? I thought Malaga, first game in a friendly. Should be a quite straightforward game. Malaga haven't been too great recently. Oh no. No! No! God knows what the goalkeeper was doing there. We're definitely going to have to have words at half time. But Malaga on the attack again. They get the ball into the midfield players. Oh no, please no. Goalkeeper! Unfortunately, you cannot sub a goalkeeper for a centre back during the game. But here I am bringing on Pierce. And look, this might be the start of something new. Pierce comes on at half time. It's a, it's a fresh start for the boys. What can they do? Can they try and get Malaga on the counter track, bring one back? But Malaga are through again. And the goalkeeper. But I've got to give it to the boys. You know, they, they stayed positive throughout. They tried to get the ball. Here comes Greaves. He picks it up. Can he play through to McKenna? McKenna's through 1v1 with the goalkeeper. Can he slot it away? Three, one. Can we mount a comeback? The goalkeeper tries to throw it out to my right back. Decides he's got no eyes for the day. Plays through from Malaga to the striker. And here we go. You're Look at my lips. You're ruining it. Ruining. Maybe we can get a consolation goal in the last minute. Plays through to Greaves. Come on, Greaves. And that just sums up our day, really. No, not a good day at the office. Four-one loss to Malaga in our first game. But surely a game against Forest Green. You know. Surely can't go as worse as that. I'm trying to look at my team, see what I can change. Decided to stick with my guns. And in the first couple of minutes, we've actually got the ball. Ref! Absolutely, you could have been killed. But look, I've got guest on the ball. Is there a guest list today? Keeper pulls out a fantastic save. Jennings picks up the ball in centre mid. Tries to play forward to Grease. Grease can't turn. And Forrest Green away. Oh, but what a tackle. Grease plays through Harry Pierce. Harry Pierce is the youngest in charge, the bright star, the new centre forward. 
with his first goal for the club, bringing that, the second goal in next up history. We don't care how they go in, as long as they go in the back of the net. That's going to be one of our mottos going forward, especially playing on the hardest difficulty. A bit confused about why Forrest Green had a long promo for a corner. Um, yeah, and then they go and score from it. But look, we've got to understand, we're next up, okay? We're the youngest in charge, we're the newest team on the block. These games, we're definitely going to get a chance and looking to win, uh, not with a goalkeeper like that. Or if we start defending like this. I think my stature and posture really shows off there how I'm feeling on this sideline. But Pierce plays a lovely ball through to McKenna. What can McKenna produce from this wide area? Whips it into Greaves, and Greaves is able to find the bottom corner, bouncing up to the top with a header. And even though we're losing, they still decided to celebrate and run around like they've just won the FA Cup. So I love the passion in the boys. 3 2 to Forest Green still. Can we get ourselves an equaliser? We're on the counter attack last minute. Oh no, Forest Green have got the ball. And they whipped it in. It's the greatest volley I've ever seen in my entire life. I am running away from my responsibilities. That was what was going through my head. Like, running away from my responsibilities. I'm going to get the sack two weeks in. Didn't even want to play this next game against CD Mirandes. But straight away, Jennings, the man of the hour last game with that incredible tackle, scores his first goal for the club. And we're actually winning. Oh no, there's a goal for CD Mirandes. Thank you very much. 1-1. One, one. But at this time, big games call for big players. Harry Pierce is that player. So bringing him on, seeing what he can do. Oh, well, shock the system. Harry Pierce scores within five minutes of him bringing himself on. And at that point, I'm going five at the back. That's it. I'm, I'm making myself defensive. No player is getting past the guest list. Uh, and it's 2-2. But look, let's bounce back straight away. We're known for bouncing back. Ball played into Pierce, Pierce into Greenwood, and Greenwood slots it away. 3 2, our first win of the season. I'm getting a bit of a short story in the EA News, which is fantastic. And you know what? They're also going to highlight the man, the myth, the legend himself, Harry Pierce. What a player he's been for the boys recently. He's a huge name in the dressing room, youngest in charge, and I'm sure he's going to be our top scorer going forward in the season. You're probably thinking, Danny, why am you showing me a screen of next up one, Walsall nil at half time? And that, look, I would love to tell you why I haven't had the first half highlights here, but for some reason they're missing. So you know what? We went 1 0 up, and it's the second half now. Challenges are coming in, the Walsall players are angry, yellow cards are flying, and we've just got to hold on to this lead. The lead is essential. This is our first league game, you know, EFL League 2. We've just got to hold on to this, this lead. This lead. Yeah. A 1-0 lead, turning into a 2-1 loss. I was fuming after this game. And I look, my character looks upset too, answering these interview questions. You can tell he doesn't want to be there. Got to make sure the boys know there's work to be done. The other team weren't the issue. We were the issue with our defending. And some changes definitely needed to be made. So what you can see here, the goalkeeper has been changed. McKenna becomes a full flight starting 11 player. And Naylor comes in for our second game of the season against Rochdale away. Surely nothing can go wrong. They're near the bottom of the table. We are bottom, but I forgot to change the kit colours. So we are fighting a losing battle instantly, and they go through in the seventh minute, but Sin actually manages to make a save. The first save I've seen a goalkeeper make all season before Rochdale get a corner. From the wide area, played into the middle, and Sin with another fantastic save down to his left. We've never seen anything like this at Next Up in terms of goalkeepers actually making saves in professional games. But after this point, I had to change the tactics. Press after the loss of the ball, nice and narrow in defence, and we get our chance in the 47th minute. That man again, Harry Pierce, the youngest in charge, and he celebrates off with the Next Up fans in the corner. What a game for this boy, and what a season he's having so far. At this point, he's already securing himself player of the season. Look at him, he loves the badge. He loves playing for Coach Danny. 
and that's how it should be and guess what that's how it ends next up's first victory of the season against Rochdale away what a victory for the boys here I am telling the other manager he's not good enough and he should definitely take his team back to the drawing board and back to the tactics room went straight to Sky Sports after the game telling Mbappe telling Ronaldo telling Messi look there's a youngest in charge now his name's Harry Pearce and that's just the sort of performance he's going to be giving week in, week out. So they've got to be scared of this young buck coming through the system. And this is how I felt after the game. And there we have it, guys. That is the end of episode one of the Next Up Road to Glory. I hope everyone has enjoyed the episode. For me, it's a new series which I'm starting, so I'm gonna get better and better at doing it with editing the clips, with the commentary. There might even be some live commentary sometimes to see how I'm feeling during the game. Here I've got Dexter Pratt texting me, saying the next game is important. Well, we're gonna have to find out, Dexter, if you play in the next game and you play a part, especially if you're gonna be taking Greaves and Pierce, that dynamic partnership. But make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps out a lot. And we'll see you guys next time for the second episode of the Next Up Road to Glory FIFA Edition. Yeah!